but I will be doing a huge try on haul from Pretty Little Thing. I got quite a few items. I spent about $400 total. So I'm just gonna be trying them on and talking about each item, what I liked, what I disliked. If you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing and joining the Daisha View crew. I do lifestyle content, vlogs, try on hauls, home decor, a little bit of everything. So if you're interested, I would highly suggest you subscribe. But I'm basically gonna go by tops first, outerwear, if I have any sets, then dresses, then pants. So we'll start with this gray chunky cardigan. I bought it just because I felt like winter is coming. It's kind of like fall, winter. So this is gonna be a really good piece to layer. You can do like a turtleneck or just a regular t-shirt like I have on in the video. This uh, cardigan was not as heavy as I thought it was gonna be it's a little bit more on the lightweight side but not like super super lightweight um, but I did like how the arms are really long one thing that I did notice is that the cuff is um, permanently folded like there's like a little stitch there so you could probably cut the stitch out if you wanted to like uncuff it but it's kind of like a permanently cuffed type of thing and I got this in a size large next I have just like this little strappy they call it a vest but it's just like a kind of a cropped tank top I think I'm just a little bit more well endowed than the model because it, it was pretty short on me like it came like right underneath my boobs when I tried it on on the model it came like a little bit it, on the model it was like how this shirt is so um, that kind of threw me off a little bit. I did get a size small because a lot of times with these strappy, stretchy materials, if you get too big of a size, then it's not gonna give you any type of support, especially if you have a larger chest. I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep that just because like, if I wanna throw something on real quick or I could even layer it or um, it's, it's kind of a piece where you could wear in the summer and also the winter. So I think I'm just gonna keep that one, but I was I was a little bit surprised about how short it was. The next one I really um, I really like this one. It's just like this ribbed zip up knitted sweater. I just like the vibe of it. Just it it just gives me like. I just feel like I should be like going to class like on campus with uh, a coffee. I like how you can zip it up so if you get like a little bit cold, you can zip it up or if you, if it's like more cool weather, you can wear it down, show the cleavage. The sleeves were very long. They have like little thumb holes where you can put your thumb in but I found that when I did that, it, it made the, the sleeve uncomfortable. Like it was kind of like pulling. So the sleeves are long enough where I like don't need the thumb holes, but I wish they were longer so I could like use the thumb holes and not be uncomfortable. I could wear it with leggings or I could wear it with jeans or I could like dress it up. It's pretty versatile and I really like the color. It's a great fall winter color. So definitely keeping that and I got that in a size medium. The next thing I got was a black cardigan. It's supposed to be like one of those uh, button front cardigans that you can kind of like be a little bit cheeky with or wear like with some jeans. Um, I also got that in a size small. Typically I'm a size medium. I just get medium in everything. I have all my like dimensions and stuff in the description box as of now but typically I get a medium but like I said when things are stretchy or they have any type of ribbed knit material or if I'm anticipating that I'm not going to be wearing a bra I get like a smaller size just so I can get some support. Now in this one I probably could have gotten a medium because I did it like the sleeves the length was okay but I wish it was just like a smidge longer but the rest of everything did fit okay I think I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that like one button look I tried to see what it would look like if I just did like one button and I was too lazy to like take my bra off and see what it would look like if I just like had no bra but I don't, I, I don't anticipate that I'll be able to do that look, but I am gonna keep the, um, the cardigan because I don't, I don't think I have a black cardigan at all. 
Next thing is this white sweatshirt. It just says New York. It's just like this graphic printed sweatshirt. I really liked this one. It just gives those vibes, you know? And I feel like this is also a versatile piece. I could wear it with some biker shorts if it's a little bit cooler day, or I could wear it with like a, a like trench coat and like some boots. It's just like one of those transitional type staples if I'm just like lounging around or something and I just wanna wear something like cute but comfortable. It's just one of those pieces where it looks like you tried but not too hard. And I got that in a large. Um, this other piece I really loved. I have like a couple ideas of what I could do with it. I could put a um, bustier um, on top and wear the bustier outside. I could also just like wear it like it is and um, wear it with like some cute skinny jeans or something. I could um, wear it with a blazer and kind of have like the, the ends of the sleeves sticking out like the edge of the blazer. Like there's some different ideas that I have for it and I also really love the color. I also really liked the quality. I would say the quality was like eight out of 10. I'm definitely keeping that. I got that in a size eight. Usually in tops, I think I get a size six. And this is um, styled to be oversized already. And then I want it to be like even more oversized. So then I got like a size up than what I normally would get. I also got this faux leather blazer. It has like these huge shoulder pads, very structured look but I love this green color and um, I could definitely see myself wearing like a turtleneck and maybe just like an all black ensemble like the model has. I like how oversized it is and just kind of like the look and the feel of it. I have some new loafers that I got from Zara so I feel like I could pair those with it um, but the color definitely got me because I've been loving all types of greens lately. So I got this in a size six. Like I said, I normally get size six in tops. So I think this was also styled to already be oversized. I got this um, like soft rib knit long sleeve top. The thing about this top was it was really hard to get into. Like the bottom of the shirt was not stretchy. Like how this is, it was like getting into it was a task in itself not to mention it's a very 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 see-through so I, I had to like cover up my nips because I didn't want to be flashing nobody but very see-through so you will if you plan on getting this you will have to get um, some nipple covers or something to protect yourself but I really did like the back just kind of like that surprise like oh you think it's just you think it's just my, you think it's all modest? Psych! Like, oh, my back is out. So, <laughs> I really liked the back. This also had like the thumb holes, but the thumb holes were not placed correctly. Like they were on the other side of my arm. So, I'm not sure what was going on with that, but I did like the length of these sleeves. And then I got the matching pants. Now, I was very disappointed, very, very disappointed. You guys will see 95% of the pants and jeans that I got, I'm returning because I did not like them. They didn't fit well. I got it in a size eight and that's normally what I get in bottoms, but it's not made for tall people. So the flare wasn't flaring and it's also very see-through just like the top. It wasn't doing anything for my butt or anything. It didn't, look, it didn't look good. You can see like all the lumps and bumps and say like everything. Definitely returning that. If you're shorter, I feel like these could work and then you would probably have to wear seamless underwear that's like your skin tone. And I think that it could definitely work if you're shorter. I'm 5'8", so I really liked this maxi um, knit dress. Um, I got it in a size medium, but oh, like it fit so well. And like I said, I'm 5'8". It didn't go all the way down, like to the ground. It went like maybe a couple inches off the ground. And I, I'm, I'm already thinking I'll probably wear it with like some knee high boots or something because of that slit. But uh, this fit so well. Like I love how it, it just fit perfectly. I just loved it. So 
10 out of 10 recommend got this in a size medium the quality of the material is really nice i might even buy another color because i really i really like that one another top that i got was this like halter neck bodysuit it was it's green and blue um but i i guess i underestimated or i just wasn't paying attention to what the material was because i got a size eight and like i said i usually get a size six in tops um, especially if it's like a knit material so this just fit really weird it's like a sweater material but it's really really stretchy had no support for the had no support at all um it just fit weird i like the color i like the style but the way that it fit no and i don't know if it's just the piece or if it was like the size i don't know if i'll size down or if i'll just like return it and just forget about it but that one was like that one is in the maybes i'm not sure comment below if you think i could i should keep this piece okay now we can go to the pants yeah i was so so disappointed so i got these teal colored long straight jeans i got these to go with that bodysuit that i was just talking about because i felt like the colors and stuff kind of went together but the thing about these pants is most of it it was like 90 percent okay like the length was great the how it fit around my waist was good but the crotch area i don't know what's going on in the design process um i don't know how they are making these designs but it was so tight in the crotch area it's like my thighs were just like too big or something i don't know um and then when i kind of like pulled it up to where it like you know was actually in my crotch then this area like around my stomach just looked it wasn't flattering there was like too much fabric too much space too much material and that's basically how all of these jeans fit me the teal color i got in a size eight and it fit well like the size eight i feel like fit well and that's the size that i would normally get it's just the crotch area was too tight and i also got these vintage wash slim fit jeans i feel like a lot of times when anything is slim fit you always have to size up so i sized up but it's almost like i could have just got my regulars i don't know i feel like even I feel like the size I got, I got a 10. I feel like that was a little bit too big, but then if I would have sized down to an eight, that probably would have been too small. It's like one of those, the fit was just really weird, but I loved the design. This is the one that had like the stitching kind of like on the leg area. Like I loved the design, but it also the pants were also a little bit too short. So didn't like that either. And then just the cut of the pant down the leg. Like if it's gonna be short, I kind of want it to taper off at the leg. I feel like it didn't taper enough. Like just the overall fit was a no. Then I got the vintage wash long leg straight jeans. Um, those almost i was like oh but then this it, it's this area right here the area like between the crotch and the the belt loop like where the pockets are it's like way too much fabric it just way too much going on right there and then the crotch area was just too tight like like i said i don't know what's going on with their designs or what this also was a vintage wash it was vintage wash long leg straight jeans i got those in my regular size size eight the sizing was okay like in the leg area like the rest of the leg area the size was okay but once it got up to the crotch and like that the where the pockets are it just was not good and then uh, i loved i loved these jeans like the off-white slash it's called off white slash knee long leg straight leg jeans <laughs> i got them in my regular size size eight in the off-white color they were 23 dollars and 20 cents 
I love them when I put them on, but the crotch was just too tight. Like if the crotch area was not that tight, it would have been fine. And I was like, okay, maybe these could work. So I kind of like was like, pull it up a little and got it like, you know, got it to the where the crotch was supposed to be. Um, but then the same issue with where the pockets are, there's too much fabric. There's something that's just not right in that area that doesn't look right on me. Maybe if, maybe it looks right on somebody else, but just didn't look right. It was just too much. Um, and it was almost like they tried to do like the high waist look, but they, they didn't design it right. So I was very disappointed because I really liked the fabric of those jeans, the color, the slit, everything, but it just wasn't working. Okay, last thing before my camera dies. These are the one pair that I loved. Light blue wash, ripped, long leg, straight jeans, size eight. Love these. Keeping these, love how they fit. The crotch wasn't too tight. They were the right length. I love the rips. I love the wash. Like these kind of give me Zara, but this give me like baby Zara vibes, like Zara Jr. Not exactly Zara quality, but reminds me of Zara. I really like these. Okay, my camera's about to die, so I have to hurry up and end this, but thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Daisha View crew. Comment below what were your favorite pieces, and I will have all of the links to everything, all the sizes, everything, down in the description box, so make sure you check, um, check, check the description box, and I'll see you guys in the next video.